okay? Here I've got a video about how to factor trinomials using the box method. So I'm going to begin with the tri trinomial of 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. And once again, whenever I factor something, like if I factored the number 12, I would be saying, okay, what are two numbers that I multiply to get 12? So those are the factors, and that's the product. So this polynomial is my product. I want to find out what two binomials do I multiply together to get 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. So since we're factoring using the box method, I'm going to begin by drawing my box just like we do when we multiply polynomials. And I want to take my first term and put it in my first box, and take my last term and put it in my last box. Then what I want to do is I want to multiply my first and my last term together. Whenever I multiply 2x squared times 2, I get 4x squared. I then want to take my middle term and put it here. And this is the tricky part of this factoring process. I want to find out what two things can I add to give me 5x or my middle term and what two things can I multiply to give me 4x squared the product of my first and last term. Well let's see. If I, let's see, what adds to make 5x? 2x and 3x add to make 5x but do 2x and 3x add to make 4x squared? Hmm, no they would multiply they would multiply to make 6x squared. So instead of using 2x and 3x, what else adds to make 5x? Hmm. I think 1x and 4x, whenever I add those, I get 5x. What happens when I multiply 1x and 4x? Oh, I get 4x squared. So I know that I'm going to use 1x and 4x in my other two boxes. It doesn't matter which one goes where. Those are interchangeable. So that's when I factor my GCF of these two terms out to the front. The GCF of those is 2. The GCF of those is x. And then I want to factor up. The GCF of these two terms is going to be 2x. And the GCF of those two terms is going to be 1. So now I end up with my factors. My factors are 2x plus 1 times x plus 2. You should never miss a problem like this because I can always take my two factors and I can use my distribution method or my box method to multiply them back out and see if I get the answer that I want of 2x squared plus 5x plus 2.